vocalist Serge Tankian, guitarist Darren Malakian, bassist Chavo Odajian and drummer John Dalmayan formed System of a Down in Southern California in the mid-90s. They quickly earned a strong following in Los Angeles, largely based on strong word of mouth, a three-song demo began circulating through metal collectors and their fanbase soon spread throughout not only America, but Europe and New Zealand. By the end of 1997 the group had signed to American distributed by Columbia Records, American or Columbia released the group's eponymous debut in the summer of 1998, securing the band opening spots on the Slayer and Ozfest tours. Carried by alternative radio hit Sugar and Spiders, System eventually went platinum leading to the September 2001 release of the even more ambitious Toxicity. Their first chart topper, System's second effort, was another heavy music triumph, shaming the majority of their new metal competition and running away with multi-platinum honors around the world. Featuring the singles Chop Suey and Aerials, the album would become a landmark release for the period and their defining statement. Without losing momentum, Malakian started the Eat Your Music imprint, and Tankian founded a label called Surgical Strike. Tankian also collaborated with Armenian avant-garde folk musician Arto Tunkboyation in a project called Serart. In November 2002 System issued the Bare Bones but no less powerful odds NN's set steal this album called From the Toxicity Sessions. By 2004 System of a Down was back in the studio with Rick Rubin, the bold result of those sessions was a single epic album released in two parts, Mesmerize Hypnotize kept System's furious creativity alive, incorporating the wild vocal melodies, lyrical passion and rabid structural shifts that had become their trademark. Mesmerize Part 1 appeared in May 2005, while Hypnotize Part 2 appeared later in the year and both hit the top of the album charts. The following year the group went on hiatus, with Malakian forming Scars on Broadway, Dalmayan opening an online comic book store and forming the group Indicator. Odajian working with RZA, Isihosean, and George Clinton, and Tankian embarking on a solo career, while they toured off and on throughout the 2010s, the foursome remained split working on their personal musical projects while continuing to raise awareness for Armenian causes. One of those the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war prompted System to reunite for the charity single Protect the Land Black-White Genocidal Humanoids, which raised over half a million dollars for families displaced by the fighting. Call System of a Down's music normal, even though they're idiosyncratic, polystylistic and straight-up bizarre sound has helped them sell millions of albums and bagged a shelf full of awards. Yet the LA band sometimes take things to a whole new level of strange even by their own out their standards, here are the weirdest songs they have ever unleashed on the world. BYOB The opening seconds of Mesmerize BYOB are filled with Darren Malakian's refusal to fully lull us into the security of straightforward metal, as he sandwiches the body of the intro between a gruff grunt and that now trademark warble of why do we always send the poor, amidst the politically charged chaos of the rest of the track, a falsetto-laden chorus is the last thing we expect. It leaves us in tranquil, almost soulful territory filled with Serge's giddy vocalizations and John Dalmayan's funky offbeat hi-hats. Bounce An instrumental version of Bounce with its drop C tuning and tearing low fretwork would have all the intensity of a Slayer track. In this particular scenario, however Serge sings the word Pogo 95 times which has to be some kind of record. As its title might imply, Bounce doesn't exactly sit still hopping from the energy of the chorus into an atmospheric freak out of a bridge and back again without taking a breath it's impressive that one of the band's most eccentric tracks has become such a staple of their live shows. This cocaine makes me feel like I'm on this song. The confusing cries of I hope your stepson doesn't eat the fish and gonorrhea gorgonzola are enough to land this cocaine makes me feel like I'm on this song on this list. However between the dynamic contrast of the intro and the unsettling piano that enters towards the end, there is also a lot of weird stuff going on here musically. Serge's voice in particular is getting quite the workout 
Diving from the pseudo-rap of the verse into the three different voice types he presents in the chorus, he even sneaks beatboxing in how many times can you say you've heard that in metal? Qbert. The introductory riff of Qbert is made up of a single repeating note that makes it hard to figure out where the first beat of the bar is going to land. The following alterations between thudding, tribal drum patterns and a jubilant surge singing staccato about canned humans clear that particular issue up, but we're left with a barrage of rolled RS and chromatic melodies to comprehend. Don't leave your seats now. Cigaro. Only system can disguise a commentary on the inflated egos of corporate bosses beneath a track ostensibly about stinky shits and big cocks. This diverse vocabulary stretches into their compositional style with a death growl to rival corpse grinder Fisher himself appearing eight seconds in, and exactly a minute later a twinkling melody that could find a home on a Van Morrison album. Thirty-six. Despite being just 46 seconds long, System managed to cram a full song structure into 36. They also hit just about every SOAD stylistic trademark crunchy dissonances, surprising catchiness, acrobatic vocals, surreal lyrics, and of course moments of sheet brutality. It's like a demo version of everything that makes up the band for those without a moment to spare. Sheikin Stew Sheikin Stew is the first thing we hear from Steel this album and it's the perfect way to remind listeners that they shouldn't be waiting for anything straightforward. Instead of a memorable melody, System immediately fill our left ear with jarring tritone dissonances, instead of dropping us smoothly into the bridge, they tease it by hiding bit-sized chunks of softness within the intense second chorus. It's a strange way to start album, but it works perfectly, Plus nobody in the history of Earth has or ever will say the line butter's getting hard with as much anger as Darren Malakian. Vicinity of Obscenity It's hard to imagine Serge Tankian writing Vicinity of Obscenity without the premeditated intention of creating one of the strangest things ever put on record. The track is filled with juxtaposition, cutting directly from the thick walls of distorted guitar that supports Serge's manic screeching, to the whisper rap in unison with Dalmayan's bell cymbal and the wah-soaked disco of the chorus. Even then everything is overshadowed by Serge's Dada's lyrics. Terracotta, terracotta pie. Stop, everybody, hold your mother! 